So there we were, wheel to wheel, with the nastiest racing cars I've ever seen. Razor sharp chrome gleaming in the dark, weapons bristling under rumbling hoods. Oh, the Cry City Welcoming Committee. Have a drink, friend. Yeah, well, whoever they were, they messed with the wrong racers. Jack and I are world famous. And we're connected, too. We've been, thanks, invited to Crash City for the reading of some will. A rich guy named Crew. The big gang lord? Yeah, big is right. We were Crew's muscle in Haven City, but old Tub of Butter kicked the bucket. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Slowly, the racers circled us. The smell of fear hung in the air. And the smell of something else, too. I told Jack, lose the sucking! Sounds like this city's terribly dangerous. Maybe we should get law enforcement to crack down. <laughs> yeah, well, this place don't scare us. No nasty gang is gonna get us to turn tail and run. Sounds like they had you dead to rights. How did you survive? able to handle himself, but with my help, we took them all out, until only one was left. Really? You know, people in this town have a way of getting in over their heads. Like at the bottom of the ocean. Eh, uh, easy boys. My story's almost over. Yes, it is. Wait a minute, it gets better. Really? Dex, get in the car! Jack! Are you crazy? You ruined my story! Now! Yeah! What are you waiting for? Step on it, Jack! I told you not to go out. We're getting death threats, Dax. Someone doesn't want us here. You think? I say we take the next boat home. Not a chance. Hang on! Jack! Let's get this over with and blow this berg. Who called us here anyway? Crew's daughter, Rain. Crew had a daughter? Crew? Reproduced? Ew! Can you imagine what that tub of jelly must look like? Thank you for coming to Crest City. It looks like some didn't make it. Ah, well. I'm Rain. Before Father died, his wishes were simple. To have his will played for his closest associates, and for us to drink to his passing. This special vintage he kept for the very occasion, to toast his death. Here's to old friends, and to Father's untimely death. Yeah. So without further delay, his message to us. Hello, nearly friends, and mostly enemies. If you're listening to this message, then I must be dead. Oh, well. As you all know, I loved racing almost as much as I loved weapons. Alas, I never fulfilled my living dream of winning the biggest race of all, the Crash City Grand Championship. But even at death, I will field the greatest racing team ever assembled and win the biggest race on the planet. You are the best of the best, and you will race for me. Never Forget wait. it! 
I expect you're all riled up by now. So let me tell you why you will race, and you will win. If all went as planned, you just give a touching toast in my honor. Sorry to say, but I put poison in that special vintage. Quite unsporty, I may remember. Father! This is where Rain probably gets upset. Sorry, dear. It's a slow acting poison, or you'd already be dead. You have just enough time to finish this year's racing season. If you race for me and win, my associates will provide you each with an antidote to the poison. Simple, eh? What the hell did you do to us? Please, I, I didn't know. I drank it too. Father never did play favorites. Yeah? Well, your father's crazy. We're all crazy for coming here! I think she's telling the truth. Well, it's been one minute, so I figure by now you're all arguing about how to get out of this mess. My advice is trust no one. Win the race and save yourselves. Jack, next time you invite me to one of your little parties, don't! We can do this. We can race. And we can beat Crew at his own game. Father bought us the best mobile racing garage money can buy, and each of you has a racing car waiting. We're in this together, so let's get to it. Welcome, race fans, to another turbocharged season of high-stakes, high-speed racing. As usual, yours truly, GT Blitz, will give you a pit row view of all the action as the best racers of the world swap paint in their quest to claim the Crest City Grand Championship Trophy. In the end, only one wheel jockey will claim the prize as the greatest racer in the land. And we'll be here to cover all the thrills, chills, and spills. The season's first race kicks off in a few minutes, so stay tuned and keep those engines coming. The first race. I fear this affair will end badly. A wise man once said, be watchful of those in front of you, but beware of those behind. What wise man said that? I did. Look, none of us is happy about this, but we might as well make the best of it. My father provided everything we need to win. One of us can do it if we all- Your father got us into this mess, so zip it before I come over there and play daddy. Well, well, I was told we had some fresh wax rookies this year, but I had to eyeball it for myself. GT Blitz is the name. I'm the Crass City Racing Commissioner and star of the highest syndicated sports event on the planet. I just came by to wish you luck and to skid down a few rules. No side bets, no cheating, no rule breaks or we'll break you. You in gear? This is show business, boys. And girls. Only the best racers move up to the bigger events, so make me happy. And make the crowd scream. Let's race. You saw it here, folks. At least those of you who didn't die yawning or switch to the brand channel. An unknown driver wins his first big race in lackluster fashion. So, tell us what happened out there. Were you frightened? No! Well, wait till you race against the big name drivers. It gets worse. <laughs> Much. Think you can handle it? Give him a break! I'll take that as a no or no comment. And with that, let's take it down to Greaser in pit row. That's a wrap. Listen, I'm not getting much smoke off you guys. I need more spin, more heat. Ratings were down 13 points on that last race. Not happening. If you want to get into the club, you got to win a lot more and you got to win big. Accumulate serious points and maybe I'll give you another interview. <laughs> if you're still around. You know, except for a little rash in the nether regions, I feel fine. Maybe Crew was bluffing about the whole poison thing. I had the bottle analyzed. There were traces of black shade at the bottom, a rare and deadly plant found in the wasteland. We were poisoned, all right. Father, never cut corners. Trust me, it's the real deal. Never fear! When the going gets tough, Jack will get us out of it. We're just gonna have to win the whole thing. Against those lunatic racers out there? What are the odds? You don't want to know. No offense, guys, but I'm not going to trust my life to anyone but me. Just stay out of my way, I'll win. Well, somebody here had better win, or I'm gonna be very pissed and very dead. Oh no, here comes old Tindrin himself. You newbies are finally going to see what I've been talking about all along. What makes this the most watched sport in the world? Ultimate speed and complete danger. I hope you didn't eat breakfast this morning, or you'll find it all over your suit later. <laughs> We're not afraid, right, Jack? Right, Jack? Hey, say some hero stuff. 
Welcome to one of the fastest treks in the world. This is the Death Drone. Many people have died on those lanes, chasing a sad dream. Make the crowd scream for me! Good luck. You'll need it. More than I need ratings. Oh yes! The crowd wants more! Next time you and your thugs want to fight, maybe you should pick on someone your own size. My, my. I finally get to meet the great racer, Jack. And? And what? What about me? Oh, yes. You're the loudmouth storyteller from the bar. But Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, but I'm forgetting my manners. My name is Razor. Maybe you've heard of me? I work for Mizo. Eventually, everyone does. I'm from out of town. Yes, you are, aren't you? And you're showing my boys up on the track out there. <laughs> Don't make me put on my goggles and show you how it's done. You wouldn't live long enough to see me cross the finish line. I'm ready whenever you are. Oh, I'm sure we'll match up soon enough. The race of the century, eh? In the meantime, watch your back. I've heard someone arranged a few surprises this time out. <laughs> Welcome back to the GT Blitz Show. Sadly, the network has decided in their infinitesimally small wisdom to add a co-host to my show. I can't imagine anyone outshining yours truly, but alas, please give a lukewarm welcome to my new color commentator, as it were, Mr. <clears throat> Pecker. Thank you, GT. And hello to all you peoples out there watching. I'd like to thank the network for choosing me to save this anemic little show. <laughs> Yes, well, welcome aboard, Pecker. That's it! Who's his eight? Pecker always gets the sweet gigs in these adventures. My first network assignment has been to investigate the rumored super bet on this year's big championship race. Sources say a high-level underworld crime connection is involved. But sadly, my sources won't return calls and are now missing and are probably dead. But Pecker is not so easily swayed. I will uncover the truth and report my findings right here on our show, GT. Of course you will. And let me just say it's going to be so great working with you. You too, Blitzman. Oops, sorry. Why, you little bird There you are, Jack. Getting some local color? <laughs> you certainly need it. You're positively pale on screen. Listen, I just wanted to tell your group that you can earn cool gadgets performing odd jobs for the commission and others. What kind of jobs? What kind of gadgets? Good stuff. For instance, there are some dirt forming robots that went berserk in the crass dirt stadium. They need to be destroyed before someone gets hurt. Hunt them all down and you'll be rewarded. Sounds good. Sounds dangerous. It is, but the prizes are good and you'll need them. That is, if you want to continue upgrading your car to keep up with the Joneses. The job's waiting if you want it. But be careful. We wouldn't want to hurt one of our star up-and-coming racers. Jack, you're getting great points for the season. But I heard a nasty rumor that someone's throwing big money around hiring top mercenary drivers to race. Whoever it is, they want to beat us badly. I hear these new drivers are getting bonuses for kills. And I'm sure they wouldn't think twice about cheating to win. Oh, great! That's all we need! Uh-oh. Here comes a rather large specimen now. Well, well. If it isn't the rat and his mangy Anna. Oh, you're a riot. Have you met Miso's newest racer? This is UR-86, the deadliest driver on the planet. Behind me, of course. <laughs> 86 holds some of the top records for kills in a single event. Even I have to watch out for this one. <laughs> Don't be shy, this bucket of bolts loves living things, so he can make them dead. <laughs> Good luck out there. Hello, speed lovers! We're live once again for the biggest sport on the planet! It looks like the competition's really heating up, as are the piles of smoldering wrecks on the side of the road. <laughs> 
stay tuned for all the fireworks. How does he get that sheen in his hair? I must know. I guess we'll see some pros out there today. Oh, Joy. That Blitz fellow gives me the creeps. And the smarmy blight is even worse in person. If only he would... Hey, people, did you catch my broadcast? <whistles> You've got some serious competition today. People have been betting big. They say this championship's gonna come down to you guys and Miso's dream team. <laughs> Still, the odds makers say your team falls short. That's because most fools haven't figured me into the mix. Sig! Is my camera out of focus? The great Sig has entered the competition. This is going to be better than I thought. But if you'll excuse me, I've got some real interviews to do. Yeah, you do that. Sorry I'm late for the party, guys. I heard about Crew's little potion. That's why I never drank on the job. I say, never trust a dead man. Don't worry, I'll help you get that antidote. Easy for you to say. Your life's not on the line. For my friends, it is. Good to have you back, Sig. Great to be back. Now, let's see about this so-called competition. Once again, we bring you all the racing action as close as it gets. Yes, indeedy. The winner here will move one step closer to qualifying for the big championship race. But that step could be right off a cliff. UR86 has never lost in this event before, and the crowd is screaming for another mechanical mashing here today. Look at 86's confidence, his poise, his game face is just rock solid. Yeah, well, he's a robot. What do you expect? We're dead. Watch yourself out there, Jack. He can really light up a track, both with his speed and his weapons. Let's melt this sucker. That was a big win for the newcomer, my fine feathered friend. We're going to have to pay more attention to this boy. I've done some digging, G-Baby, and I've uncovered more information about the rumors of that big underworld bet. Someone is manipulating the sport. You know, <laughs> I've been covering this sport for decades. Do you honestly think you can come onto my show and make me look like a fool? Well, you. Welcome back to the show. Today, we have a special event where the racing rules have been changed to provide new challenges and new thrills. How do you see Jack and his band of misfit racers shaping up? Well, G, I've seen Jack get out of some pretty tight scrapes. Come on! Do you really think Jack's got a chance? He'll soon be going up against the top pros. Nasty competition. But I'll give you the final word. Well, GT. Oops, sorry, that was more than one word. In my experienced opinion, as the competition gets tougher, I think Jack's gonna fold. That's Studio Debating 101, baby. Oh yeah, you just got schooled. Birds do not school. They flock. So flock off! Daddy, I want a race. They need me there. I can win it all. Oh no, not this again. Kira, you're not racing. It's much too dangerous. But Daddy, I can do it. I can race better than any of those guys. You know I can. Yes, I, I mean, no, you can't. Well, I mean, yes, you can, but that's not the point. I won't have it. A woman's place is in the garage fixing cars. You can't protect me forever. Someday I'll show you. Not today you won't. No racing, that's final. I can't risk losing my little girl. I'm not your little girl anymore. You'll see. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm always fine. Look, you boys have what it takes to win out there. Thanks, baby. I meant the car. It's a beaut. Free-floating V chassis, 326 superheaders, channel lock universal weapons cage. Very nice. But to keep competitive, you'll have to modify your ride as often as possible. Maybe if you ask nicely, I'll install stuff. Deal. That's asking nice? What? I mean, it would it would be... Nicer. Will you do it already? I'm a little rusty with the wrench, but I'll see to it your vehicle's in tip-top shape, make repairs after races, and make sure yours is the best purring vehicle on the circuit. And Jack, we'll talk about nice later. Something about this whole setup doesn't seem right. We're missing something important. But at least we're winning races. That's good. Good? Listen, Rain Baby. We've been chased, attacked, shot at, poisoned, and blown up. 
How could it get any worse? Hello, ankle biters. It's worse. That show pony, gee whiz blitz, told me I could find you here. Listen up, yabbers. You embarrassed me on the track before, but this time I aim to even the score. Dude, that was so last adventure. Available in stores now. I've been waiting a long time to teach you short puppies a lesson. I'll see you on the track, nippers. You and the offsider care for a little bush bash? Over the city and through the jungle, so to speak. You know, I was having a good day until you showed up. We're always up for a little action. Good. A little warm-up for the big event, eh? Who knows? Maybe we can run over a few greenies while we're at it. After you. You'll always be after me. Who's paying you, Cleaver? You don't do anything for free. I love this sport. Last year alone, racing brought in more cash than Crash City's entire yearly budget. Now that's big. Believe it or not, it can get even bigger. I mean, with the right imagination. I'd like to see laws passed forcing the sport to be shown on multiple channels. Maybe broadcasted in school for the kiddies. Seems like everyone's got a stake in this thing. Well, we certainly do. There's a ton of money swirling around this sport. And where there's money, there's crime. I think Crew's playing us, but against who? I don't know. Hello, race fans! Welcome to another edition of the GT Blitz Show. What you think, Mecker? Is this season great or what? Yes, GT. It's really been a... Great! Well, we have two of the biggest racers in the sport today. So, Razor, tell me, how does it feel to compete in the most prestigious racing event on the planet? My show. Yes. Well, as you know, I'm a firm believer that our sport needs to evolve. We need more action, more excitement, more danger. Love it, love it! So, tell me, Jack, how does it feel to know either you or Razor will be dead by season's end? You must be really motivated to keep racing under this kind of pressure. Let's just say we're dying to win. Some say the mysterious kind boss Mizo may be involved. Mizo's name's coming up a lot for someone trying to stay out of the public eye. You heard it here, folks. These two wheel jocks are on a collision course, and we'll be here to identify all the bodies. Hello, race fans! We're coming to you live from not-so-scenic Haven City as this sport goes on the road for the World Circuit Tour! Yes, we're global, baby! In today's race, a few veteran drivers will meet the upstarts for the first time, and the Blitzmeister has a feeling it won't be pretty. So, we'll stay behind the crash barrier and bring you all the action as it happens. Stay tuned. It's nice to be back in Haven City, hey, sweetheart? Torrin, I'm touched. I was talking to Ashland. I knew that. And we used to think this town was tough. Crash City makes this place look like a kiddie park. I still don't understand why Crew would go to all this trouble for a trophy. I smell a rat. Hey! I showered this morning! I mean, I think Crew must have been up to something. With soap! He always had an angle. You're probably right. While we're in Haven City, I'll see what I can dig up in my father's old things. Yeah, you do that. Now that I've finished working on this sweet ride, it'll really fly, thanks to my vehicular expertise. Right. Did you put on two coats of wax or just one? One. But that'll make it go much faster. Howdy, mates. Just wanted to drop you a fly that there's an event swelling at the Crash Coliseum. Competitors from all over the world came to play, and my score beat them all. Whoopee for you! I just didn't want you to miss out on all the fun. I need a little competition, and I'd love to see you squirm. Go ahead, give it a bell. I'll be the one laughing from the stands. Two of today's top contenders are joining me now. Cleaver, the muscle-bound god of Track Thunder. And the nimble and lightning-quick racer, Jack. So, Jack, sources say there's a big bounty on you. Everyone wants you dead. Everyone except me, that is. You're great for ratings. The death threats and bounties don't bother us. We're not afraid to die. Whoa! Freeze frame! I'd like to go on record right here that I'm firmly and officially against dying. In any way. Yabbers, all of you. I'm gonna find you two out on the track. And when I do, 
You wish you'd never wedged behind a wheel. You heard it here, folks. The gauntlet's been thrown, and the biggest race of the season is coming to you live as... Jack and Daxter show us how they became heroes. Wow, Jack has beaten Cleaver! What a stunning upset! This is going to shake the sport to its core! What a surprising turn of events! And here's the lucky winner, ladies and gentlemen! Well deserved, well deserved indeed! You're showing promise out there, old boy! What's your secret? Clean air. Love it! Ha <laughs> ha! Love it! And I'd like to give a shout out to all my golden boys! Yeah, yeah, wouldn't we all? Tell me, Jack, you just beat one of the top racers in a bid to qualify for the Grand Championship race. Your point totals are impressive. What makes you think people won't kill you for this? What, 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 what? Did I slur my words? Aren't you worried? Tell you the truth, I'm probably dead already. But that doesn't mean I can't take a few scumbags with me. Well, you made the people cheer, and that's good for business. Very good indeed. Until next time, this is GT Blitz, signing off. You got a sweet gig going here. Oh, it's all for show. For the bigger powers that be. <laughs> I'd be careful, though. I hear Mizo had a pretty sizable bet on this race and lost. I hope he was watching. Oh, I'm sure he was. I took the liberty of going back through Dad's things. I found his decoder for the will. There's more on the disc. I think it's his journal. Play it. Mizo and I both want the same things and we'll stop at nothing to get them. So I rolled the dice and made this bet with Mizo to avoid a costly gang war between us. The winner of the next Crash City Grand Championship race will win the other's dirty business. All I have to do is field a better racing team than him, win the big race, and Mizo and his nasty clan will slink off to whatever hole they crawled out of me. No wonder they both want to win so badly. My father made a wager with the Mizo crime family. He's been linked to some of the worst crime in Crass City. I'm sure he's paying top dollar to field the best racers to beat us. So we're up against the world's nastiest crime boss with the best mercenary racers money can buy, and we've been poisoned. I've had better weeks. You must believe me, Jack. I never knew my father was into all this. Hell, I never knew my father at all. You're not alone in this. Don't worry. We'll win. Jack, you're looking good in the standing so far. But even if we win this whole damn thing, how do we know Mizo will keep his word and walk away? We don't. But how do you know Crew will keep his? Look, honey, I don't care about Mizo. As long as we get the poison antidote. Your family business is your problem. Listen. I've been around this crime scene for a long time. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that death is always in the equation. Mizo will leave witnesses. Win or lose, he'll try to kill us all. I just don't think we should leave this bet to chance. My father wouldn't have. It's not your choice. And I wouldn't start modeling your life by what your father would do. Jack will tell you where he ended up. Won't you, Jack? Look, just keep racing and winning. I'll think of something. Step aside, boys! The Speed Twins are in the building! Looks like we're taking it to your best boys on the track, eh, Razor? Ah, welcome back to the Bloody Hook. If we keep meeting like this, people will start to talk, hmm? You ain't so tough! Although you do dress strangely well and have a certain odd sexy style. We found out about your boss's little bet with crew, Razor. Mizo won't win, no matter how many of your goons he hires to race against us. Oh, yes! Mizo wanted me to tell you that he loves the competition and looks forward to the rest of the season. Of course, he's a far fairer soul than I. I need a GB spanner, please. What's a spanner? That one. That one. No, that one. I knew that. You sure know your way around cars, Kira. I can handle tools, but that's not all I'm good at, Jack. Oh, look. The grease monkeys are busy putting their toy cars together so I can take them apart. This is a private party, Razor. Of course. I just came by to tell you I'm officially coming out of retirement. Just for you, Jack. Everyone's screaming for us to swap paint. And when it's over, this town won't mourn your passing. They'll only lament how much money they lost betting on a loser. Why are you here? 
Does the network think you're the future of broadcast? Perhaps. It's all in the attitude. The look. The way I... We're back for another exciting race, folks, where survival is just as important as winning. Say, Blitz, isn't this the same track your father won his first championship on? Why, yes, that's true. People say he was quite a racer. He was. The best. Until he was killed on this very track a few years later. It's a cruel sport, eh? <laughs> but enough about my old man. Let's get back to all the racing action. What do you want, Pecker? I came here to tell you all to watch your tail feathers. Let's just say that in my position, I hear a lot of off-the-record interviews. Start flapping your beak, Pecker. Okay, okay. It appears the racing syndicate run by Mizo has been fixing races for some time. You guys are the only wild card out there, and they don't like it. Yeah? When you're poisoned, you'll do crazy things. That's off the record, Squawker. Nobody knows about the poison, and we'd like to keep it that way. Oh, of course. You can trust me. I'll let you know when I have more info. I'm out there with you boys this time. I've got it handled. I can take Razor. This one's too important to leave to chance. Don't worry about me. I can hold my own. Yes, folks, we're live as I deliver a secret recorded message dropped off at our station earlier this morning. That's right. It's from the mysterious crime lord, Mizo himself. Well, the rat's finally coming up from sewers. Greetings, fellow race lovers. Your perseverance this season has been surprising. But crew has sent you on a fool's errand. I'm prepared to forgive and forget and spare each of your lives if you walk away now. But we can't quit. We have no choice. Are you crazy? The world's deadliest crime lord is offering you a deal and you refuse? What does crew have on you guys? This is amazing, folks! If you're listening, Mizo, your days are numbered. We'll win, or we'll die trying. Jack, I just want to say thanks. I... No problem. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man who beat the mighty Razor! How does it feel to still be breathing? I just want to win the championship, then we'll talk. Why so truculent with the media, Jack? You're the next big star! The championship seems all but locked up. Of course, every star eventually falls. Blitz, we need to talk. We analyzed Jack's car after it was sabotaged. The explosives used- Were the same type as those that killed your father. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you get it? The very same people that want us dead also killed your father. So the Syndicate killed my old man. I'm not surprised. He was arrogant and cocky anyway. These are very bad people. If you know anything... What I know is that the ratings this season are through the roof, and it's only going to get better as the season comes to a close. So that's it. That's all you care about. It's all I've got. Now, if you don't mind, I have a swarm of cameras waiting. Thank you again, Jack, for your help. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Uh, Rain, um, about your dead crew and all. Rain, there's something I need to tell you. Hello, race fanatics! We're coming to you live with a breaking story. Yours truly has recovered documents that prove Jack was the cause of Crew's death. What? Jack left him to die in a terrible explosion. How heartless can you get? It wasn't like that. Rain, I had no choice. I told Jack he should fess up. I kept saying. You knew? You all knew, didn't you? Oh, could it get any more delicious? Well, we'll leave you two to work this out. Back to you, Greaser, and a commercial break. Sorry, folks, but that's show business. <laughs> Who are you? Your father wasn't such a good guy. He killed a lot of people. And you think Mizo's any better? If we lose this championship, the whole city will suffer. Oh, you wouldn't understand. Leave me alone. I'll win without you if I must. I'm used to taking care of myself. Hey, that's foul! Well, tastes pretty good to me. Want a bite? That could be my uncle, you know? I had an uncle once. He kept telling my father to stop racing, to take care of the family instead of going to the track every day. Even before my father died, I was on my own. Jack knows what I'm talking about, right, Jack? Over these past few weeks, I've found out who my friends really are. 
Oh, please. The BS meter is really pegged now. We'll see how your so-called friendships hold up when Mizo breaks the news that he's bringing in a surprise driver for the final race. Welcome, everyone, to the final race of the season. The winner here will take home all the marbles and virtually run Crash City when it's all over. And the loser? Wait, this just in. There's been a late entry for the Mizo team. Sources say this mysterious wheel jockey is one of the best drivers in the world. So stay tuned for all the death and destruction. Well, it's the final race, eh? It all comes down to this. I just hope I didn't miscalculate the poison's potency. <laughs> Win quickly and save yourselves. I want that trophy. I don't feel so good. Me either. Your father's agent better have those antidotes waiting at the finish line. I've got your back, Jack. And I've got yours. Hey! Who's got mine? I do. Kira? Kira, you're not going to race. Daddy, I'm racing, and that's final. Ah, uh, just like her mother. Let's do this. All for one. And one right in the groin. Let's make Mizo pay. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, there you have it, folks. The Cross City Grand Championship has been won in style by Jack and his racing team. What a finish! And the mysterious driver turns out to be my co-host, GT Blitz. You did it, Jack! Yeah, we did! Rain, what's going on? Relax, this whole thing was designed to flush Mizo out. As for the poison, don't worry, I've got the antidotes right here. How could you know that Mizo would be close? Father tried to eliminate Mizo for years, but he could never ID the man. Then we realized, there is no Mizo. Or rather... Out of my way! You broke the rules! Blitz! I'm Mizo! And losing the bet changes nothing! I'll crush your family and this whole city! No one else will ever know. No one except for 200 million viewers, that is. What? Smile for the cameras, big boy. Every star has to fall. Right, Mizo? Ah! You will all die! Akram Jack! Are you still talking? Rain! She'll become even worse than me. Right. Like how you killed your old father? And why not? He left us for his love of racing. And when he did, we vowed to own the whole damn sport. All of it! Every last part. You have a habit of leaving people to die, don't you? You get used to it. And just then, I pushed Jack to safety as the car exploded in a fiery inferno! Wow. Great story, Dax. Great racing, everyone. Wonderful driving. Thanks. I was talking to my daughter. Well, everyone, I must be on my way. Thank you all for helping me take out my father's enemies. This town will be a better place for it. And thank you, Jack, for showing me the light. Take care. Be better than your father. You know, that old girl ain't so bad. Hey, she forgot Crew's diary. Hello, reindeer. So it's our little secret, eh? Just pour it into your glass first. Three seconds and no more. And yours will have no poison. The rest will get a full dose. <laughs> then we'll take down that miserable Mizo and be the top crime family in Class City. I only wish I could be there to give you a big hug. Like father, like daughter, eh? Oh my god. Call a meeting. I want every crime boss present. That's right. I'm running this town now. Father was too soft. No, don't eliminate the racers. They were my friends. Although probably not any longer. Ah, well, it's just business. Who would have thunk? Well, if you'd all been thinking with your heads. Yeah, Jack. The important thing is we won. And we're alive. And we brought down that scumbag Mizo. And we rock the racing circuit, right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Hey! Will you kiss her already? Sheesh. 
Oh, yeah. That's what I call a photo finish. <laughs>